Hello, this is Natasha from YMO Homeschool. Today, I wanted to give you a flip through of Uncle Sam and You. This is by Knotgrass. I have the whole complete set here to show you. Now, I did an unboxing video, but this is really going to give you a look inside how this program works. So let me just go ahead and get started. There are two textbooks. This one is part one. You see the table of contents here through here. And you can see there are 15 units. At the end of this book is the American Holidays lessons, and I will talk about those. So with the curriculum package, these are the things that you'll need, additional products, student workbook, and lesson review. Now, I've actually read that Knockgrass doesn't necessarily think that these lesson review and student workbook are necessary. However, they've created these because some parents wanted kind of tangible evidence that their student is completing the work or that their student is learning or perhaps they have to um, show proof to, for, to a charter school or something like that. Now, I am one of those parents who do want um, tangible evidence, so I am thankful for those, but I will talk about that in a minute. But these aren't absolutely critical. You don't have to have those. You don't have to do those. And then it talks about the literature selections and they chose, they choose their literature um, specifically so that it's uplifting and it won't offend uh, your Christian faith. However, there are some things in the literature selections that they do point out, like if there is a word used like this or like suicide is mentioned in a book and it gives some explanation there. So you can choose to um, skip that part or just so you know it's coming up so you can talk to your kid about it, that sort of thing. Um, these are the books that are included in the literature package, which I have over here. And then at the end of each week, you do an American holiday lesson. And so I will show you that. And those lessons are designed to be done with the whole family and they're in chronological order. And it talks about um, having a three ring notebook for the end of lesson activities. So you'll want to keep that in mind. You'll want to have a notebook for your student. And then it talks about, again, the weekly family activities. And then um, it talks about getting your supplies ahead of time so you're not scrambling for them each week. And then it also talks about right here um, some reminders so you will not feel overwhelmed. And this is really so sweet and basically says God's given you your children to you specifically. And your time right now, whenever you're using this curriculum, uh, God knows exactly what your family needs. And you may, one mother may have more time than another mother, depending on the season of life. And uh, don't be overwhelmed. And so anyways, this is really sweet. I just love that about the Knotgrass Company, that they are so encouraging to homeschoolers. All right, so let me show you unit one. We can see here there's a little glare. There's four lessons, and then the fifth lesson is Choose an American Holiday. Again, these holidays are listed in chronological order, uh, starting with Independence Day. And then it shows what books you will need in this unit. So you'll need the Citizen's Handbook, the Student Workbook, Lesson Review, those are optional. And then um, it says, New Citizens Celebrate after a naturalization ceremony on Liberty Island in New York. The ceremony was part of a 2011 celebration of the 125th anniversary of the dedication of the Statue of Liberty. All right, so now we'll go through the four lessons. So the student would read one lesson a day. So let me show you how long a lesson is. As you can see, there's lots of pictures. So that would be one day's reading. Then we have the lesson activities and you can choose from these. Okay, so Thinking biblically, copy this Bible verse, literature, read my country, tis of thee, in the citizen's handbook. That is in here. Creative writing in your notebook, write one or two paragraphs about what you would want to do on your first day back in America if you had been away for a long time. Picture this, take a photograph or draw a picture of the place your family meets with your church. And then student workbook or lesson review tells you what lesson to do. Okay, then the next day, they would read the next lesson and then again would have lesson activities and here we have vocabulary literature creative writing find out student workbook or lesson review so the lesson activities will not always be the same day three do the reading 
Again, lesson activities, thinking biblically, vocabulary, find out, picture this, student workbook, or lesson review. And then lesson four of the week, they would read this. And then lesson activities, thinking biblically, vocabulary, literature, creative writing, find out, picture this, and student workbook or lesson review. And it says, remember to choose an American holiday to study this week. Now this is where you'd want to be planning. So you could try to line this up um, as you're going through, depending on when you're starting. So here's all the American holidays that this covers. Okay, and so you would choose one of these American holidays lessons to do. So let's say we're doing Independence Day. We would read this. Okay, and then it has the family activity at the bottom. Make a Happy Birthday America poster. Instructions are on page 486. So then we can come over here to page 486. And there it has the supplies needed and the instructions. So again, you would want to make sure that you have those materials ready. And so I'm just going to flip through this book a little bit so you can see. And then I'm going to show you a little bit more of those different activities that are included. Okay, so let me go back. There's Christmas. All right. So here are the activities, the family activities for each holiday. So this you can get all your kids involved in, not just the one that is using this, okay? Then we have part two, which follows the exact same format. And we have table of contents. You'll see it starts at unit 16 and goes through lesson 30. And again, it has the American holidays. And that starts from Martin Luther King Jr. Day to Father's Day. So you definitely do want to try to stick with the traditional school year, I would say, with this curriculum in order to follow those American holidays. And then we have the family activities, states and capitals, sources, image credits, index. Each week follows the same format. So let's take a look at the first unit in book two. Here's lesson one. And then here's the lesson activities. And then here's lesson two. And the lesson activities. And notice here where it says in chapter two in Basher 5-2. So that would be this book here. You would read out of lesson three. Lesson activities. So I love how it breaks it down exactly what you need to do. Lesson four. Lesson activities. And then remember to choose an American holiday to study this week. So let me jump back there. Here we go. Here's the American holidays for book two. Again, you read the information and uh, do the family activity. Create a what are you doing for others poster. Instructions are on page 1006. So we'll go to 1006. Here are the instructions. Okay, and then we have an answer key. That's pretty basic. It is exactly what it says, an answer key. Then we have the student workbook. These are the consumable items. So you see lesson one, oops, I see page two, three, four. Notice there's not a page for the holiday lesson. So there's only a page for the four regular lessons in the workbook, not for the holiday lesson. 
Okay. Then we have the lesson review book. And you'll notice that this is for the older student. So this would be probably more appropriate for the fifth or sixth grader. And this one would be more appropriate for the seventh or eighth grader. I should have mentioned that this curriculum is designed for fifth through eighth graders. So we have unit one, I mean lesson one, two, three, and four. Again, no lesson five. There's no worksheet for the holiday study. Okay, and so you see this looks drastically different than the other one. Let me also show you, I forgot to show you in here. We have tests for each unit. So if you want to do tests, those are in there. Oops. Okay. And then let's go back to this one. There are also tests in this one. So the difficulty is going to be different depending on which book you're using. Make sure that you check out their website because they have a lot of extra resources like checklists and they have um, tests or little quizzes for the literature selections also. Here are the literature selections, Basher 5-2. These are not in order. A Letter to Mrs. Roosevelt, The Wright Brothers, Misty of Shinko Teague, Bridey of the Grand Canyon, Lincoln, a, photo a Photobiography, The Long Winter, and Lost on a Mountain in Maine. Then the last thing I'll flip through is this Citizen's Handbook. This is a nice hardcover book. Table of contents. So these are primary sources, basically. Okay, so then we have different things here, just different primary sources. I'm going to link in the description box where you can purchase this and also the link to all of those extras that go along with this. I think that's a bit of a hidden gem, the extras. And so you want to make sure to check those out. But if you have any questions on how this works or if you want more detail, please let me know and I will be happy to try to assist you. And thanks so much for watching.